Friday, welcome to the video. Today's Friday, May 4th, 2012. It's 7.50 in the morning. I'm on my way into the office. We've got a beautiful 61 degrees right or 67 degrees right now, which is perfect morning weather here. Uh, I'm gonna go in, knock out three periods, and I'll talk to you after lunch on my off period on this gorgeous day. Perfect quality and it's amazing. So I just plug my phone in my car and I can tell Siri to do whatever. That's nice. Very convenient. So, oh, on hey, the vlog already. Hey, yeah, I was just waiting for Taylor to shut his big yap over hey. here. Freak's sake. All right, guys, we are up here at California Pizza Kitchen in beautiful Legacy Village. We've got a stunning night here tonight, aside from some nice cloud cover. It's very warm though, it's what, 75, 80 degrees? You're not even nice. Jack's got his Rolex and, and I'm here and, and Taylor's got the Cas Casio. Am I in frame now? Yeah, not even. That should be about perfect right there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Excellent. So we just uh, ordered dinner and Kenan's at home doing things and uh, we're going to talk to him later tonight. Okay, so what, what are we going to do over at um, Beachwood Mall, Taylor? He just said it louder. So we're going to try to get him to say it again. At Beachwood or the other place? Any other place. How about we play hide and seek at dance? But just said it about. And as you can see, there were quite a number of people that listened to this comment. So, um, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's about 11 or 1:50 in the morning right now here on Saturday, and uh, I haven't actually filmed anything since dinner. As you saw, we had an awesome dinner outside at California Pizza Kitchen in Legacy Village. Um, we had talked this week about getting everybody together, Ken and Jack, Taylor, Mike, um, getting everybody together and going somewhere for dinner, and it was a beautiful day, most of the day, and uh, I mowed across the street, which is the yard that was really bad, and it was really bad. That's one of the hardest mows I've ever done. Um, it took about two hours start to finish. I did a lot of trimming over there. I got the mower over. I, I could only use second gear. The grass was so high and it had begun to seed, which means you've got twice the material going in there. And even with a 14 horse motor, uh, that's, that's a lot of power that it requires to do that. So second gear, I filled that up with grass 19 times. Great number, 19 times. Um, which means I'm only doing you know three or four passes vertically across the front yard before I've got to take it all the way to the back and pick the thing up, which is like 100 pounds or something crazy, pick it up four feet in the air, dump it, and put it back on. And usually that's not hard if you only have to do it five, six, seven times in a cut, where my average is probably only three or four times. So it was bad. And to make things worse, as I finished the front yard, as I, I started over here at the driveway and worked all the way down, uh, just as the house ends, then there's maybe 30 feet to the line, and that's big open grass. And then it started to rain a little bit. Today was supposed to rain all day. It only rained for like 20 minutes. And it started a little slow at first, and five minutes later it was just pouring down rain. Of course I had the Bose Quiet Comfort 15s in, my iPhone's in my pocket, uh, the keys to the M5 were in my pocket, my wallet I think was in my back pocket. Uh, plus, water cannot be good for an engine like this. I mean, look how much of it is exposed. The water is hitting the uh, exhaust thing there and just, you know, turn into vapor instantly and it can't be good for stuff in there. I don't know a lot about that engine particularly. But it didn't hurt anything and I pushed through because I could look up and see some blue sky and I knew it wasn't going to last, but it poured rain for like five minutes. But I kept cutting. I kept cutting. You can't stop these damn pesky Germans. So I got that done and I got my money, which means we're another $200 closer to the, uh, the nav display in there. I'm not really in a big hurry to do it. I'm really doing it cosmetically. I don't really use the display for more than maybe fuel consumption, average speed or average speed um, readings, and just a display to see what radio station or CD input or whatever I'm using. So there's not gonna be a huge benefit in terms of functionality. I don't really use it as a GPS. The newer interface will look better. I don't think it'll tell me anything that I need to know more than uh, what the old MK2 computer and uh, display and interface and screen gives me, but it'll be a nice update. So I'm aiming to do that sometime in May or June, or if I'm gonna be gone in June, July, I don't know, I'm not in a hurry, as I said. Anyways, then we went to dinner, and then we went back in the woods for a while with flashlights, and it's actually fun just going back there and doing some hiking, and um, we did that. I didn't film any of it, because I feel like I bored you all enough yesterday with five minutes of dark, can't see crap frog catching, but that was cool. And then we came back and pretty much collapsed, um, pretty tired. And I'm actually not that tired now, two in the morning. So I'm gonna go in and finish editing this, 
and it's beautiful out here. It's about 68 degrees and still pretty humid. We've got a beautiful full moon. And uh, that's going to be it for today. I don't think there's anything else I needed to say. Oh, everything I did after I got home from school ended up backfiring and, and just blowing up in my face. But I tried pretty hard to get around that and laugh it off, and it worked. I feel fine. So um, that just proves no matter what happens to you, as Shea Carl says, you are fully in control of how you interpret what happens to you. Or not what happens to you, but how you react based on the things that happen to you. And that's really important to, uh, to feeling good. And there's my motivational speech for today, uh, technically Saturday, but actually Friday's vlog. So tomorrow's a normal Saturday. It's going to be like 70 and sunny. So we'll go over, to, go over to the grandparents' house, probably bring some spring stuff out, maybe clean up some beds in the landscaping or work like that. But uh, that should be cool. So I'll talk to you guys on Saturday. Let me know something you did today, and I'll talk to you later. Leave me some comments. Good night, guys.